What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a daytime skincare routine for you guys. I apologize in advance if this is a little short than my other videos. I just didn't realize my routine was that short, but I do intend on refilming this in the future with maybe more products, different products. So be on the lookout for that coming soon. So the first product we're gonna go in with is the Tula Purifying Face Cleanser. You guys have seen me use this in other videos. If you haven't seen my Tula skincare review, I will link that above for you guys to watch. But I really like this. This is my favorite product from Tula. It's very gentle, it's foamy. I like using gentle cleansers during the day. Nothing that's too harsh that overstrips my skin or anything like that. I like to use this with my hands first. And somebody asked me if I gua sha, which is like the sculpting tool. I don't gua sha because the way that I cleanse my skin with my hands, I kind of contour my face in a way that makes me, you know, get that same effect from a gua sha. So that's why I don't really do that. A couple key ingredients in this product is lactic acid, green tea, and turmeric. Lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid that helps with gently exfoliating dead skin cells off of the surface of your skin. And green tea is a natural antioxidant that helps with detoxifying your skin. So this is why this is really great for me during the daytime for me to get a fresh start for the day and wash off everything that I used the night before. I really like Tula's products because they're very pH balancing because of the probiotics and the prebiotics that they have in their products and that just helps keep my skin balanced. And for anyone new to my channel, yes, I still use my Clarisonic brush. This is not abrasive on my skin. This is something that I use daytime and nighttime and in basically all of my skincare videos. And then after I wash that off, I'm gonna go in with the Kate Somerville Exfoliate Cleanser. This is the travel size version because the full size, She's not cheap. She's, I mean, I could get it, but at the same time, I didn't have to pay for this. Um, this was like a free gift that I got from, forget from where, I don't remember if it was Sephora or Ulta. This is something that I've been adding into my daytime skincare routine lately. If I don't feel like masking or using any exfoliators, this is something that I will put on after I wash my face off or if I have damp skin or dry skin. I use this in areas where I need a little bit of some brightening. I'm finding that this product helps with retexture on my skin so that's why I'm using it in those areas where I have texture. I have a little bit of some texture on my forehead and I think it's because the weather has been changing down here in Florida. We're transitioning from like a really really hot season. One thing I will point out about the exfoliate cleanser, I do know if you have sensitive skin you might want to steer away from it because there is like bergamot oil in it and bergamot oil is not really good for people that have sensitive skin and you can actually smell the bergamot in the product too. <laughs> And then the next product that we're gonna go in with is the Medicube Super Seco Water and Toner. So this is something that I got in PR and I actually really like it. I like when I get things in PR and I actually like genuinely like the product and I start using it daily. This is a hydrating toner and it has an ingredient, it's called, I'm gonna put it on the screen because I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right. It's methanpropendiol. Um, this is like a really good ingredient that helps with enhancing the absorption of other ingredients into your skin. So this is a good product to use if you're gonna be layering on serums or layering on any actives. This is a hydrating ingredient, so this is why I'm going to have a dewy looking finish at the end. And the next product that we're gonna go in with is the Bubble Skin Care Bounce Back Toner. So lately I've been double toning and that is using like a toner with a cotton pad and then using a toning mist afterwards. I don't really know if this has any added benefit to it, but I've just been doing it just because I feel like it. <laughs> and after that, we're gonna use the Istin Hyaluronic Concentrate. I know y'all are tired of seeing me use this product, but this is my favorite product that I have in my skincare collection out of everything. And I'm just gonna show you guys how the texture of this product looks. As you can see, this does have like a water gel-like texture to it, so that's what I really like. This is why it's good to use during the day too. It's not a heavy product. 
So since I have oily combination skin and hyaluronic acid helps with balancing oil production, I will use this on areas of my skin where I feel a little bit more dry and that's typically like my cheek areas. I'm not gonna be applying this on my foreheads or anything like that. The hyaluronic concentrate contains biomarine extracts, dual peptides, and the three key points that this product is for, it's supposed to hydrate your skin, plump your skin, and smooth any texture that you have. And for moisturizer, we're gonna use the Naturium 5% Niacinamide Gel Cream. This is one of my new favorite moisturizers to use during the day. If you haven't seen my drugstore skincare video, I will link that above for you guys to watch as well. This is a product that is really good for oily skin. If you are somebody that has oily skin, gel moisturizers are what you wanna use because gel moisturizers absorb into your skin quicker and it doesn't feel like you have anything on your skin. It's a very weightless product. As you can see, I'm patting that in and my skin just drinks the product. It just absorbs it. I feel like you can never really use too much, but of course you're not supposed to overdo it. And then our final product that we're gonna use is the Istin Air Fatona SPF 50 Plus. This is the best SPF that I've ever used. I like it because for one thing, it is black friendly. Like this is something that you can definitely use for no matter how dark your skin is. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So you see how I'm rubbing that in? A lot of SPS, if it has zinc oxide in it, it's gonna leave a white cast, but as you continue to rub that in, as you can see on me, it actually goes in and it is invisible now. The Air Fatona SPF actually is the kind of product that helps reduce the damage that your skin takes from the sun. And not only do I use SPF on my face, I will also put that on my neck and behind my ears as well because those are areas that will be exposed to the sun. I specifically will use SPF on my tattoos. I was told by my tattoo artist that this will help the longevity and the look of your tattoos by putting on SPF. And I'm gonna show you guys my tats real quick because a lot of people mistake my neck tattoo as a hickey and it is not. <laughs> I promise you I would not get on camera if I had a hickey, guys. It's just, that's just not me. <laughs> This is a tattoo of the Pluto symbol. I actually vlogged that. And then behind my ear is the tattoo of the Mercury symbol because I'm a Virgo. And that is the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.